stopped at the ranger station and there's a ghost town it's called custer so i'm on a loop it's a gravel road and she said it would take a day and so it's custer's motorway so anyway there's like two ghost towns back here so anyway i thought i'd hang around here for a couple of days and see what's going on so here's what it looks like and that's where i came from the other interesting thing was that i found out that bureau land and forest land are completely different bureau of land management land usually doesn't have trees on it which explains why i haven't been in too many trees but forest land, of course, that's where the pine trees are. We have found a spot. It's not quite as level as I wanted, but anyway, it's a gorgeous spot. Um, there's water down there. There's also high grass, but I bought mosquito repellent. So, I think this will be good for a couple of days, I hope. Went ahead and, and, and picked another spot, but it wasn't quite as pretty as this. And we have a stream. We have a waterfall. See the waterfall? And this is pretty cool. I mean, there are mosquitoes all over the place and there are flies all over the place, but not as bad as it was in Utah. And uh, I did talk to a guy and so he was in IT and uh, he was on four wheelers with his kids and his parents. And uh, they had four, and his, I guess his brother, he had uh, four four-wheelers. And um, so anyway, I told him I was a COBOL programmer and he laughed at that. And uh, of course I told him I was a retired COBOL programmer. But anyway, um, he gave me a lot of, of interesting little tidbits on um, how to get the glacier and then how to get across going west from glacier um, through a cherry uh, uh, section where they grow cherries and he he lived up in glacier and uh or near glacier i should say and so anyway uh life's good this is this is a gorgeous spot i mean they had a fire come through here and they went ahead and had a lot of trees that they cut out but other than that, it's, it's just a gorgeous little spot, and there's my home away from home. First thing I did was put up a uh, the mosquito netting thing. So anyway, okay. Stopped at Homestead Station, and uh, it's, what's left of it is over there. It said Homestead Station was the last stopping point for the toll road travelers heading for Chillis before beginning the long climb. Proprietor James. Dryer offered customers a squared meal and everything kept neat and clean according to an advertisement in the Yankee Fort Herald June 5th 1880 as mines playing out as mines played out on Yankee Fort miners drifted to greener pastures of ranching often in the Round Valley and Chillis in later years men built a corral at Homestead Station which is here and cowboys used the cabin when they turned out cattle to graze in the hills each spring.
pretty cool and it's right here I don't know if you can hear that that's a small cabin but bigger than what I've got and there's the stream right there for water by 1880, improvements to the toll road allowed the establishment of a stage line from Bonanza City to Chillis. Along the toll road, several stations provided services for drivers and passengers. Eleven Mile Barn provided drivers an opportunity to hitch up fresh horses and allowed passengers to rest before continuing north over Mill Creek Summit or south to Yankee Fort Mines. The daily stage run over the toll road cost passengers $5 for a one-way trip. Can you imagine what $5 in 1880 was like? <clears throat> and it took eight to nine hours and included three changes of fresh horses. Changes took place at 11 Mile Barn, which is here, Toll Gate, and Slab Barn on Pine Summit. During the winter months, when travel, travel conditions were difficult, travelers were often forced to make overnight stops on their way to and from Chillis. Passengers leaving here, Bonanza, at 4 o'clock in the morning will reach Chillis the same day about noon and arrive in Blackfoot at 8 p.m. the next day in time to take the northbound, take the southbound train. Hmm. Goodness. I guess there was a lot of gold here, but that's what's left from an 1880s barn. Just amazing. There's the stream getting bigger. I set up camp, it only took an hour and a half. And I'm not pleased because the wind started picking up and the clouds are coming in, which is no big deal. But, I just, I mean, it's gorgeous. But, I set up my table, set up my chair and I, Got the extension cord from the solar. There's my solar over there. And uh, it's just, this isn't working out like I planned, which is fine. Let me show you the, the stream. So I'm going to take this down and work inside.